Oh, what an adventure! <laughs> Get lost with Google Maps. Good morning everybody. How are we going? It's a overcast sort of a day today. Listen to that beautiful magpie singing us a song. Okay, we're doing some work on the plumbing, plumbing on the camper trailer. Now you remember here is where I had the old pump, okay? And We had a, a tap coming out here and it was really good if you wanted to wash your hands or something like that. It was absolutely brilliant. However, uh, the plumbing they used was this, I don't know, I think it's an air hose type um, cable and that went all the way up through the chassis and you can see how small it is, okay? And the inside diameter is even smaller. Um, so it wasn't letting us get a much of a flow because of the friction involved and that's, that's probably close to a metre 40 there in my hand. Um, so I wanted to move the position of this pump from here to here and at um, ASAP Engineering in Bunbury they're actually building me a cover making me up bending me up a cover uh, similar to this one only in aluminium all right now we had trouble with this on our last trip you can see it's had a repair in it this split and we lost 60 liters of water a tank full of water and I temporarily fixed it I put some uh, uh, butyl tape on it and then I put a couple of, um, I don't know what they're called, just, just plastic clamps on there to clamp the split together and then I heat shrink it and that's the best I could do on the road. Okay, and that worked. Alright, but that's trash. So, I went and got some of these marine grade fittings here, plumbing fittings and they're flexible stainless steel and that goes into the bottom of the tank there excuse the bird poop but you know we do live in a as you can hear by the birds we do live in a bird area so that's going in there and then I'll just plumb the tap into the front with another on off switch okay alright now for the back I, I had um, another one of these cables but I didn't know you could get these with the right ang angle bend I was looking at a marine catalogue and I seen them you, and you can get them from Bunnings as well okay uh, before I just had an end like this and by the time I bent it it was very badly kinked now the problem I had was you can only get these in 300 450 and 600 millimeters that's a 600 millimeter one there uh, which isn't long enough to go all the way down through the existing hole and back up to the tap fitting which is just here in this corner so I uh, measured a new hole put a new hole in it and now this just comes around into the tap fitting and when I shut the door this slides inside keeps the loop nice and gentle and when I open the door it slides out and it works really well and of course I don't have that kink up here anymore where it come out and then kinked around the frame and then went in um, so that's the job I've been working on today I'm just about to put the sink back in and uh, so I'll have to get into place but that's basically a done job right there I've just got a lot of clean up to do with the old elastic and then I'll put some new elastic on put the sink in put a few bricks in it to hold it in place until it cures um, 
these houses are brilliant and they're, they're relatively cheap too and the marine grade ones actually come with a 10 year warranty on them uh, but you're not meant to bend them past 180 okay um, like they, which is why they make them like this and that other one I had kink there was well and truly yeah it was a kink alright and I've got a, a, another cheaper one there from Bunnings over there that we put in when we put this second pump in I don't know if you my old subscribers will remember the problems I had trouble the, the trouble I had with the first pump that was put here and they've had the same plastic hose that went all the way back through and into the sink and it was a real pain it, it was it was a literal pain all right so there we go plumbing video on the camper trailer today and here's another tip when you put these on a frame all right and you got your rubbers there don't over tighten these screws they've got to be able to move people you, you can can you see that they've got to be able to move on the rubbers because these pumps shake and if you tighten those up too much then that shake transfers through to the body of the trailer or caravan or whatever you've got them hooked through by all means do whatever you use to mount up tight but if you're just using this to mount it to a wall then these screws have to be kept relatively loose so it can move okay which is why I'm using flexible plumbing fittings all right, there we go, people.